library friends, it's Mrs. Catherine here. How are you doing today? Excellent. Are you ready to say our hello song? Let's do it. Hello, how do you do? It's good to be with you. Hello, how do you do? It's good to be with you. Hello, how do you do? It's good to be with you. It's good to be with you at story time. I'm so happy that you're here today. Now that the weather is changing, it's getting colder, the winds are blowing, the snow is coming, it's definitely feeling colder outside. What do you think happens to animals once it gets cold? Like animals that live outside. Some of them go to sleep for the winter. Do you know what that's called? Hibernation. I wish I could hibernate, sleep all winter in my snuggly bed. Just kidding, then I would miss all the tobogganing and the ice skating and my snowball fights. Super fun. I do like the winter. But we're gonna talk about animals. What does this guy do in the winter, do you think? He hibernates. Hibernation is when some animals have long periods of deep sleep during the cold weather. To help them prepare, hibernating animals eat lots of food. Yeah, during the fall, they eat it all so they can survive the cold and sometimes dangerous winter. They fill up their bellies. Other animals hibernate too, like chipmunks and bears, bats and fox turtles, snakes and hedgehogs. That's so neat. Lemurs, wood frogs, skunks, and prairie dogs do too. Well, should we read a story? Maybe a bear story? I would hope. Get your magic fingers ready, warm them up, do some finger push-ups. Oh yeah, send me some magic on the count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three, Poof! Let's see what's in the magic book bag today. Oh, this is a good one! Bear can't sleep. I can't wait to read this. Bear Can't Sleep by Karma Wilson. Illustrated by Jane Chaplin. In this home in the forest, while the cold wind blows, Bear snuggles in his quilt from his nose to his toes. While the snowflakes fall and the drifts pile high, Bear tosses and he turns, Bear moans and he sighs. He stares at the wall. He's not tired at all. And the bear can't sleep. Pitter-pat, tiptoe, mouse scurries in the lair to check on the fire for his good friend Bear. Oh, Bear, Mouse squeaks. You are up too late. It is winter in the woods and bears hibernate. Mouse frets, dear me, while he brews mint tea and the bear can't sleep. Bear is counting sheep, one, two, three, four, when badger and hare tumble in through the door. Ho, oh, a mouse, says Hare. We were just out walking. Bear should be asleep, but we both heard him talking. Bear snuggles down deep in a sad furry heap, but he still can't sleep. Down the lamp, Badger builds the fire up. Hare pours warm milk into Bear's tin cup. Then Gopher and Mole tunnel up to the lair. Mole frets and he fusses. It is bedtime for bears. The cold wind blows while the firelight glows, but the bear can't sleep. Wren, owl, and raven flitter flutter inside to find bear awake with his eyes open wide. Wren hops to and fro. What else is there to try? A song to make him sleepy? So they sing a lullaby. 
They gathered in the lair. They hum along for bear, but he still can't sleep. I'm awake, roars bear, and that's all there is to it. I have tried to fall asleep, but I just can't do it. I'm bored, bored, bored. So I'll spin you all a tale. Once upon a time in the strawberry veil, the friends huddled in as the story begins, since the bear can't sleep. Bear tells a story he has never told before, and just before the end, there comes a rumbling snore. When the sun peeks up on a bright new dawn, the friends can't sleep. But the bear snores on. <laughs> what a lovely story, that silly bear. Do I'm a little bear cub. I'm a little bear cub, soft and brown. Here is my den where I can be found. When the winter's over, hear me shout. Spring is here, it's time to come out. Let's do it one more time, and when it's time to shout, let me hear you. I'm a little bear cub, soft and brown. Here is my den where I can be found. When the winter's over, hear me shout. Ready? Spring is here, it's time to come out. Should we read one more story? I do love a good story especially when it's cold. I like to get my blanket, and snuggle myself up in it, put on my nice fuzzy slippers and read a good book. So let's read one more. Let's see if there's anything left in the magic book bag. Can you get your fingers ready? And send me some magic in one, two, three, poof. Let's see if there's another book in here. Oh, there is. Ooh, do frogs drink hot chocolate? How animals keep warm. Do you think animals drink hot chocolate? I guess we're about to find out. Mrs. Catherine loves hot chocolate. Do frogs drink hot chocolate? How animals keep warm. Written by Etta Keener. Illustrated by John Martz. When it gets cold out, do animals turn up the heat? No! So how do they survive the chilly weather? Let's find out. Do frogs drink hot chocolate to keep warm? No! Some frogs don't even try to keep warm. The Alaskan wood frog turns into a frogsicle. It spends the winter with most of its body frozen. When the air warms up, the frog warms up too. Penguins snuggle with a friend? Yes! In winter, thousands of emperor penguins come together in a giant huddle. It's warm in the middle, but cold on the outside. So what do they do? The penguin shuffle. Taking small steps, they slowly change places. That way, they all get a turn in the middle. Do butterflies sunbathe? Yes, butterflies can't fly if they're cold, and they can't make their own heat. So what do they do? Catch some rays. If it's cold, a butterfly will sit on a rock or a log and stretch its wings. Then the sun warms up its flight muscles. Do foxes wear earmuffs? No. Arctic foxes have small furry ears. The fur helps, but so does the size. Ears stick out in the cold air. A fox's body can lose heat that way. Smaller ears don't stick out as much as big ears, so they lose less heat. Turtles jump up and down to keep warm? <laughs> no, many turtles will burrow into the mud and dead leaves at the bottom of a pond. The water there is cold, but it never freezes. It usually stays at about 39 degrees Fahrenheit or 3.8 degrees Celsius. That's the perfect temperature for turtles who like to snooze while they're waiting for spring. Do polar bears build homes? Yes, pregnant polar bears build dens, but not with wooden hammers. 
Instead, a mama bear uses her sharp claws to dig out a cave in the snow. When it's finished, she crawls inside to have her babies. The den keeps them all safe and warm until spring. Do whales wear snowsuits? <laughs> that would be really silly. No, they don't. Whales have blubber under their skin. This layer of fat keeps their body heat in and the cold out. Whale blubber can be up to 12 inches or 30 centimeters thick. That's a whole ruler. It also stores energy, so whales can keep going for a long time without eating. Squirrels curl up under blankets? Yes, well, sort of. Squirrels have built-in blankets. When it's cold out, they wrap their long, bushy tails around themselves so their body heat won't escape. And that's not all. As the temperature drops, less blood flows into their tails. Instead, it stays in their bodies to help keep them warm. Well, that's pretty neat. Do monkeys take hot baths to keep warm? Yes, Japanese macaques love to take warm baths. There are places in Japan where hot water bubbles up naturally from the ground to form pools. After playing in the snow, the macaques will jump into these hot pools to warm up. Do tuateras sit by a campfire? No, tuateras' bodies cannot make heat, but birds' bodies can. So what does a tuatera do? It has a sleepover with a little bird called a fairy prion. The heat from the bird helps keep the tuatera from getting too chilly overnight. Do honeybees use teamwork? Yes. In the winter, honeybees form a cluster around the queen bee. Then they shiver together. By vibrating their wing muscles, they raise the air temperature in the hive. This keeps the queen toasty warm. How do bees have energy for all this shivering? They eat honey. Do birds fly south? Yes and no. In winter, some birds fly south in search of food and warmth. Other birds survive wintry weathers by eating as much as possible. This gives their bodies energy to keep warm. Feathers help too. When they're fluffed up, they trap warm air next to a bird's skin. Do guanacos wear leg warmers to keep warm? Yes, well, sort of. Guanacos have thick woolly coats, but there's very little fur on their legs. When it's cold outside, chilly guanacos lie down with their legs tucked under their bodies. That keeps them nice and warm. All of the animals in this book have special ways to survive the cold. But what about you? What do you do to keep warm? We wear mittens on our hands, a toque on our head, some snow pants, a jacket maybe, a scarf, all those things we can do to help keep warm. Well, it's that time again, time to say goodbye. But don't worry, we'll be back again next Friday and I hope to see you then. In the meantime, let's hide our hands behind our backs. Where is my thumb? Where is my thumb? Here I am. Here I am. Did you have a good time? Yes, I had a good time. Time to go hide away. Where is my hand? Where is my hand? Here I am. Here I am. It's time to say goodbye now. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye now. We'll see you next time. It's story time. We'll see you next week. Stay warm, everyone.